Welcome again to my video channel on YouTube. You're listening to and uh, watching Ramon Thomas. I'm an online behavior expert from South Africa. I've been on the internet since 1993 and I worked for some of the biggest internet companies, some of the biggest banks, and I've worked with the leading uh, technology researcher, Mr. Arthur Goldstuck. And now I specialize in doing seminars, workshops, and public talks around what I call the psychology of technology. And I'd like to raise your awareness and bring your attention to doing transactions on country. Um, I recently read a story about um, some people who've had negative experiences with country. Uh, one lady was uh, raped in Cape Town after she went to an interview with somebody who had placed an interview on country. Well, my experience is not as direct or as uh, violent as her experience. What happened with me was I listed a couch. I had a sofa, um, something called a Lucy Corner for sale, and I was moving out from a property in Ravonia. So I had to, I, I also needed cash, so I put, I took some photos, uploaded the photos, wrote a description, and I, the first phone call that I got within about 24 hours from posting the advert was a very smooth talking person telling me that uh, they're very interested, they would like to come and look at it, um, and uh, they'd like to make a payment. So I gave them my banking details. They sent me an SMS confirmation from a different bank. I'm with FNB and uh, the SMS was from NetBank. And I said, look, I need a confirmation. So could you please, uh, you know, send me a confirmation of an email. Now I used the, the reference number that they put both on the SMS and on the email and I unsuccessfully uh, I was unsuccessful in confirming that the payment was indeed made uh, from NetBank. The challenge is when you do an EFT, electronic funds transfer, between two different banks, it takes 24 hours for it money to reflect uh, in your bank account. So I use common sense and I didn't agree for them to collect the sofa. I called NetBank. I wanted really to be sure um, because if the money was indeed um, the transfer was indeed made uh, and I had to wait, uh, you know, uh, about 12 hours bef before midnight before the money reflects in my account, then I'd be quite happy to have them collect the couch. And speaking to the call center people at NetBank, um, they said to me, like, do not release it under any circumstances, be cautious. And they double checked the reference number and they couldn't uh, see any transactions on their side. I forwarded the emails to NetBank's uh, risk department and uh, the next day they confirmed that it was indeed a scam. Now what really impressed me was the sophistication of the email confirmation because they had the, the layout, the letterheads, the colors and everything um, in the right places. Uh, secondly, the SMS also it didn't come from a private cell phone number, it came from a very long winded number which looked like it was sent from a computer system not from a, some individual cell phone so these people were using very sophisticated tactics I, um, I really was suspicious from the word go because it was the easiest transaction that I'd ever conducted on Gumtree so my message to you is really simple is when you are selling goods on Gumtree um, which works very differently from bid or buy, which has a payment mechanism built into it and a feedback mechanism built into it. Um, on Gumtree, uh, people will either contact you by email or by phone and they will arrange for the transaction to take place. Now, unless you are guaranteed that you are receiving cash, do not ever, ever, ever release your goods. And even if you are receiving cash, the larger the amount of cash, be very careful as to where and when you meet people you know take someone with don't don't be courageous uh, this is not the wild west um, people can take advantage of your of being naive so just be cautious and just uh, tell your family members if you're watching this your brothers and sisters your mother and father your any of your children depending on your age and just caution them on selling any goods 
on Gumtree because I see a huge increase um, over the next year and continuing for some time on Gumtree because it's a, a very unregulated mechanism. I think when things start changing on Gumtree and they require some kind of registration and some kind of feedback mechanism similar to what Bid or Buy has, uh, we'll start seeing a change. But for now, I do not recommend that um, you sell things on Gumtree that's uh, of a very high value. Uh, the chances of fraud and the chances of scams is much, much higher on Gumtree than it is on platforms like Bid or Buy. So that is the alternative that I do recommend. So that's it for now. Um, I'd love to hear from you if you have any of your own experiences on Gumtree, certainly the most popular classified website uh, in South Africa from what I can tell.